very good morning students yesterday we were discussing the second chapter of your english literature nelson mandela long walk to freedom dear students we have already seen the new president is going to take charges who is a new president yeah nelson mandela and what was the special specialty of this 10th may and why nelson mandela is so much happy yeah the specialty of 10th may a new government a new democratical elected non racial government is going to take the charges of africa and the reason why nelson mandela is so much happy because the african people they have achieved their rights and what is their rights the freedom we have discussed that near about 300 years the south african people they were under the bondage of racism the citizens in their own country they were treated as second class citizens it's a very painful situation the people in the country the native people they are treated as the second class citizens which we indians have already experienced and in this auspicious occasion nelson mandela when he is giving his speech he said that he is giving a promise to the african people the situation will not be like how it was in the past and he is giving the promise to the people we have achieved our freedom after a very big struggle now no more we are under the bondage of this racism because a new elected non racial democratic government is taking the charges of africa under the leadership of nelson mandela dear students we have already seen what was the condition of africa before 10th may and what is the condition of africa now everybody they are very happy many leaders from across the world are here now in the soil of africa a big inauguration a big ceremony is going to take place and the president the new elected president of south africa is giving his speech now dear students we will read further a few moments later we all lifted our eyes in awe as a spectacular array of south african jets helicopters and troop carriers rode in perfect formation over the union buildings it was not only a display of pinpoint precision and military force but a demonstration of the military's loyalty to the democracy to a new government that had been freely and fairly elected only moments before the highest generals of the south african defense force and police their jets bedecked with ribbons and medals from days gone by saluted me and pledged their loyalty i was not unmindful of the fact that not so many years before they would not have saluted but arrested me finally a chevron of impala jets left a smoke trail of the black red green blue and gold of the new born new south african flag dear students here we can see what changes has taken place the speech is over this is the time of the defense forces they are showing their loyalty towards the new fairly elected 
non-racial government. We have seen in the history chapters and the political science chapters what is the difference between elected and selected. Here the new government is not selected but it is elected by the people. Now a big show is going to happen in the sky. Over the amphitheater, a big show is going to take place. All the defense forces, they are going to make a big show, a drill they are going to make. We can see usually in the special occasions like Independence Day and the Republic Day, when we discuss the situation of India, the armed forces usually make their drill during these special occasions like Republic Day and the uh, Independence Day. Same like the armed forces of Africa, the police and the military, they are going to show their loyalty towards the new elected government. And Nelson Mandela, he is remembering one more thing which is very important. He is remembering that if it happened if I was here a few years later or a few years before, the same police and the same army chiefs, the army officers, they would have arrested me. Why? Because I am a black. I was fighting for the freedom of the dark-skinned people in the Africa. But see, now the situation has changed, as I said already. Now all these superior officers, the army chiefs, the police chiefs, they are saluting me. See how the situation has changed. And everybody is ready to show their loyalty towards the new elected government. And they are going to make the show, which was very wonderful. Dear students, now we will read further. The day was symbolized for me by the playing of our two national anthems and the version on the vision of white singing. Cosis Sikilel Il Africa and black singing these them the old anthem of the Republic. Although that day neither grow knew the lyrics of the anthem they once despised, they would soon know the words by hearts. Dear students, one more thing that we have to notice here. There is two national anthem. One is belongs to white people and another one is belongs to black people. And what Nelson Mandela is saying, the white people, they do not know the lyrics of the national anthem of this black people or the dark skinned people. And the dark skinned people, they do not know the lyrics of the white people's national anthem. Why? Because they were hated each other's. The white people, they hated the dark people because they are dark. The white people, they hated the, sorry, the black people, they hated the white people because they are enjoying all the freedom and they are ruling the country even though the country belongs to the black people. So, the, each category of the people, they never respected each other. The white people, they hated black and the black people, they hated white. And Mr. Mandela, he is saying that the situation will not be like that, like this any furthermore. The black people and the white people, they both learn and sing together of each other's national anthem. 
that's what he is saying so there will be a there will be a same treatment for the white as well as the black there will not be the evilness of racism will not be existing any further on that day of the inauguration i was overwhelmed with the sense of history in the first decade of the 20th century a few years after the bitter anglo boer war and before my own birth the white skinned people peoples of south africa patched up their differences and erected a system of racial domination against the dark skinned peoples of their own land the structure they created formed the basis of one of the harshest most inhuman societies the world has never known ever known now in the last decade of the 20th century and my own eighth decades as a man that system had had been over overturned forever and replaced by one another recognize the rights of freedoms of all people regardless of the color of their skin dear student here we can see he nelson mandela he is saying that the most inhuman activity what is this inhuman activity the racism it has started years back when i was small and before my birth the white people they started taking the supremacy they started taking the ruling capacity they are ruling the black people the dark skin people there was a poem by maya angelo the caged bird in that poem maya angelo the poet she says that the dark skin people how they are treated in their own country the caged bird sings for the freedom same like here we can see even though maya angelo he was belongs to this black community here we can see dear students he is saying that this is the most inhuman activity which was existing there and which is not not any more will be going to exist before my birth itself this was the situation in africa he is continuing that the dark skin people they are also going to get the social equality and the white skin people and the dark skin people they will be treated very equally that day had come about through the unimaginable sacrifices of thousands of my people people those who whose suffering and courage and never be counted or repaid i felt that day as i have on so many other days that i was simply the sum of all those african patriots who had gone before me that long and noble line entered and now began again with me i was pained that i was not able to thank them and that day they were not able to see what their sacrifices had brought dear students he is saying that he is remembering the other leaders those who fought for the freedom of africa he is saying that i can never be counted or repaid i felt that day he says that the countless effort many people they have contributed for the freedom of black people or the freedom of dark skin people 
it was not only the victory of one Nelson Mandela. This is not only the victory of one person. This is the victory of a group, many patriots. They walk together. There's many people, they have sacrificed their life for the freedom of Africa. Now here Nelson Mandela, he is remembering all those people, those who have given their lives to abolish this social evil. He is remembering all those people. Dear students, the further chapter we will read in the next chapter.